going on everybody my name is mike this is wall street traders where we break down hot trending stocks put you at advantage on the market all right so i'm going to start breaking down the list of stocks that you guys had commented in the box i know i didn't get to uh, get to them early this morning i have 10 or 20 stocks that i have to break down daily for you guys uh, but this is what I love doing. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So today's ticker symbol that we're breaking down is GM. I have my lines and graphs already set for you guys. Remember, we always start from a higher time frame to see the overall picture and trend that our stock is in to get further analysis. Um, so we'll start with our top resistance line up here. Uh, we can test this by looking left. We can see that our candlestick came up and got rejected and pulled back down to where we are currently. And then we have this other candlestick over here that came up and got rejected off this area. And then if we look down here on our support side, this is our heavily tested lowest area that's been um, tested. Uh, we can see all these candlesticks coming up and going under. So once we're under that support, it works as resistance. So we can see these candlesticks were working as resistance and ultimately gapped up, came back down and was riding against the support came up double bottom retest we actually bounced off of this and that's where we came up and hit our, our, our resistance created a higher low uh, double top retest and then failure so where does that leave us as of right now so the market's been open for about two hours we're up about eight uh i'm sorry eight point eighty eight percent we're at fifty six twenty six and we're on minor support right now so i will put a line here so we can see that uh, right here so we have these two bounces on this minor support and then we have these three tops underneath working as that minor resistance so remember these are our main levels and then this is our minor level so there's different levels of minor um, support and resistance um, if you guys want me to teach you how to find those uh, comment a box uh, comment in the box below and um, I'll try to make a video for that for you guys so as of right now we are resting on this minor support so you have two options uh, well, you can get into this trade as of right now and set your first target back up to the previous highest point at this $62. Um, if you're day trading or swing trading, it would be a little bit lower and it'd be back up here at uh, our last dip area at the $57 area. And then have your stop loss below this wick or this candlestick. So if it does drop below that, we'll be able to get tagged out and wait for a better entry. So that would be around the $53 or $54, you guys. Um, or since we are under this this line or trend line here uh, more than likely since we gap down and broke above or below all these candlesticks we might be pulling back down to our major support line so if you're the safer trader you could always wait for us to pull back down to this 51 57 area have your stop loss below all these candlestick wicks that being in the 49 cent area and then your first target would be back up here at the minor resistance at 55 27 so you do have two options here guys you could be the aggressive trader here get in at, uh, right now have your stop loss set uh, below this minor resistance at the 5510 and then your target be back up here uh, if you plan on holding long term so if you're a uh, swing trader day trader or scalper you could still get in right now but your target would be different and your stop loss would be different you would just break down to the smaller time frame and uh, find your entry and target so when you're getting into any stock remember you're gonna have your trading plan already set and you're gonna follow that um, and then obviously for the safer traders, you're going to, uh, you're going to wait till we come back down and retest this $51 level and then, uh, cover yourself with the stop loss below that area. You can even look here on the RSI. We are kind of oversold. So that is a good sign for the aggressive traders getting in now. Uh, sorry, I keep burping. I apologize. Um, let's go ahead and look at the volume real quick. So we're at 5.65 million. So. Uh, the volume is looking good you guys we always want to uh, make sure that the volume is over at least 150,000 because anything less than that uh, we're going to be stuck in this trade even if you're day trading or scalp trading it's going to move moving so slowly that you're not going to be able to catch anything so um, i hope this really helped you guys if it did hit that like and subscribe button i make these daily contents every single morning uh, so stay tuned and stay updated you guys happy trading and have a beautiful day